Hello, welcome back to Let's Play uh, op Joint Operations Typhoon, right, whatever. Joint, com look, I, I can't speak. I forget. What am I playing, Steam? Joint Operations Combined Arms. There we go. Um, <laughs> that's not a great start, but I tried to call it Delta Force from the beginning, and that obviously wasn't right. So today we'll be getting into the operations, which will be the campaign i guess so to speak for this so first off we have operation emerald scorpion mission briefing intel reports indicate that two old lumber mills have been taken up by rebel forces and they are currently using the mills as a rearming and refueling station for their river patrols your mission is to assault the compound by any means necessary destroy the weapons caches on hand and sink the gasoline barges you'll be provided with atvs to aid in your assault an old lumber mill has been taken over by rebel forces. They are using it as a rearming and refueling station for their river operations. Your mission is to assault and cripple the facility. You will be provided with ATVs to aid in your assault. Objective 1. Destroy weapons cache located inside the northern lumber mill at Target Gulf and the weapons cache at Target Hotel. Destroy weapons cache at the southern lumber mill at Target Juliet. Destroy the three gasoline barges located at Target Tequila and Lima. The Mon Alam... Lumber mill complex, weapons containers, fuel and barges. All right. Um, I guess we will spawn in. It looks like we have a predetermined loadout. Make sure your team survives the mission objective has been added. I'd rather just move in on foot, honestly. It looks like we are not being given body armor. Uh, they say we have a team... I think maybe we're supposed to have a team. I don't know. Maybe the this seems like it's single player, right? Because there, there's no host option. But I, maybe there's like a multiplayer version. I'm leery of using vehicles. So if they gave us an MP5, I'd rather just be stealthy about it. Although that I was kind of thinking of going loud and you know just taking heavy body armor and doing a full-on assault, but I assume this means we have satchel charges. Oh, well, maybe we can pick some up along the way, because we have jack shit right now, actually, which is a little annoying. We'll have to be careful. I can see why they want us to use the ATVs, but again, we're, we're so lightly equipped that we can run this distance pretty fast. I imagine we're just about at the... Yeah, I can see parts of the complex from here. Alright. But I figure this way we're a little smaller target than uh, one of those loud, noisy ATVs. And we'll have the element of surprise. They shouldn't hear us coming until we start firing shots. There we go. Oh, come on. I see you. There's two of you. Alright. Okay, they had better security patrols than I anticipated. That's on me. Okay. Ow. No! What? I killed you. Alright, they want to see... Eh, uh, why not? It's honestly kind of pointless, this insertion phase. Because you literally just use the... Uh, well, you just drive in the ATV. But they don't have weapons. It definitely seems like a mission that was primarily designed for co-op. But, uh... They kind of just turn into a single-player thing. I don't know, maybe I should be getting someone to play these with, but... Alright, let's just dismount here. As we are right about there. But let's swing around. And see what else is there. We could have run that pretty easily. 
but uh because we have next to no equipment and, and in fact if i look through uh we don't even have satchel charges so we are very lightly equipped no body armor to speak of damn it he ran downside of the suppressed mp5 is it takes a lot of shots oh yes we can get up here which would have been great for like sniper overwatch but this will do all right oh i guess the uh timer on my vehicle expired All right. Enemy compound located. Yeah. Okay, we can't break that open. All right, move to and assault the enemy compound. Destroy the weapons caches at Target's Golf and Hotel. Destroy weapons cache and second lumber mill at Target Juliet. Destroy gasoline barges. All right. Rah. I guess they know we're here. There we go. There we go. Anyone else? I think there's a guy there, but I I don't want to waste rounds. Yeah, and there's another guy there. I'm not going to waste rounds at this point trying to uh, hit them at range, especially if they do like a god all these animal noises i don't think there's actually any animals in the game but they certainly keep you on your toes ooh big cluster of people there damn i think i actually got most of them too all right let's see Probably something like this. Wow. Got him. Holy f cow. Look. The fact that I'm actually able to hit these guys. Okay, this guy's not... There we go. He's got kind of behind some cover, though. That's why he's so hard to hit. But there we go. That's him down. Ooh, they got heavy weapons there. They were expecting an assault from that direction, I guess. I think that's another person there. People, characters kind of stand out from this fog a bit more, I think, than uh, static objects. There we go. Nope, get back here. You get away from that 50. Or grenade launcher. I think it's a 50, though. Woo! Oh, damn it, I'm stuck in the reload. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cool zoomed-in reload. All right. Thought I heard someone. There we go. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, that's a boat. Oh. Okay. Woo! There we go. Hope we, uh... Get some ammo soon. We're going to need some at this rate with how I'm blowing through it. Okay, but we're on we're up to waypoint Foxtrot now. So I suppose progress. All right, anyone else we can take pot shots at? Not really. I could try for this person again. Got some hits. Okay, I think I got him to stay down that time. 
All right, can we actually... All right, they got more facilities. This is probably going to be annoying. Uh... All right. Uh... Do I want to take my odds? All right, got him. Gonna say at least behind the sandbag I have cover. A little leery of going straight in, but I suppose we got the trees for cover. The downside is they give the enemies cover too. Alright, I think there's an armory up ahead. So we'll be able to reload and hopefully get a... Uh... Okay, where are you? You're blending in a little too well. Uh... Oh, I don't have a secondary weapon even? Holy shit. They really did give me nothing. Oh, thank God they... Oh, no! Oh, come on! Alright, I think it might have actually taken out the, uh... There we go. <laughs> it was coming right for me. All right. And I've decided I'm not going to... In Delta Force, what I did was I always did it in one go. Even in the newer ones that were... that, Like, you go back to Delta Force Extreme and Extreme 2, and you can see how they took inspiration from this game. But uh, since this game is just so heavily multiplayer-based, I'm not... I'm not going to bother trying to do it in one goal. It's obviously not designed for that. If I do manage in one goal, great. But I'm not going to spend five hours trying to perfect the mission. All right. So there's a the little bastard around here. Where did you run off to? No, you're still here, you little bastard. Okay, there he is. Shooting you in the back while fleeing seems fitting. But yeah, and the reason I say that, and what really made me stick to this decision, is one, the fact that my loadout sucked so bad I didn't get to choose it. But two... We have control points in a single-player game. Or at least what's supposed to be single-player. So, yeah, I'm not going to... Uh... Now, I guess this is supposed to be, like, so you can... Oh, my bad, I keep hitting plate for my dinner. I suppose this is just supposed to be so, like, you can... Like, remember in Extreme where we had a respawn all the way from the beginning? I mean, this is kind of better than that. Well, okay. Actually, since I didn't do it in Extreme. But in Delta Force Extreme, when you died, you, all, you always had to spawn all the way in the beginning. Which was annoying in some missions. If you chose to, you know, respawn instead of restart. Because the uh, several of the missions, as you recall, um, uh, were vehicle-based. At least at the beginning. Like, the first one especially, where you're just basically taking a... Uh, uh, some of those desert patrol vehicles or fast assault vehicles or whatever you want to call them. A joyride through artillery in a minefield. Uh, and then if you died during that segment or like afterwards, you had to restart at the beginning. Which would really suck if uh, you were out of a... If there were no vehicles left. Okay. 
this also fixes my ammo problem too, which is why I think so far there hasn't been any ammo spawns. Is because, well, one again, I think you're. This is meant to be played with more people. But uh, and you can see just how many of them are spawning in. There's more coming from that direction, which are here already. But yeah, I don't even have a sidearm. What Delta Force game doesn't give you a sidearm? Like, this is crazy, and I I preset up all my player classes, so I know they all have sidearms because I would never be so I would never be so crazy as to ditch my sidearm for speed. Okay. These guys are still running around. It'd be nice if I had uh, an ammo resupply, or could even like even if I could just pick up their ammo, or not ammo, but weapons. That would be nice. Okay, we got one up here. All right. Uh, okay. Wow, 210 enemies. Holy shit. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that with, uh... <laughs> okay, we're, we're just going to embrace it at this point. But we can start here at least. Yeah, it was just sharp starting to shoot. I see a little bastard. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how else to get ammo anyway, so I'd probably be forced to either make extensive, like, try to funnel them in towards the uh, in-place weapons or uh, use my knife. Neither of which is, is a particularly fun option. Okay. Okay, finally, an armory. No, we'll take the Mark 23. Oh, 84 body armor, huh? That's a decision. Well, we'll take. You know, I don't need this guy either anymore. I can just take something good. There. <laughs> there we go. This is what I would have taken from the beginning. But, uh. Oh. There we go. Even this is uh, way more effective than uh, than the MP5. There we go. Now we can really gun them down. Oh, get out from behind there, you cowards. Oh, it's like a shooting range. There we go. Is that supposed to be a med kit up there? That would be nice. But God, to actually be stuck with the MP5 until you reach that armory. Oh, we have no health. <laughs> like, yeah, that's uh, kind of bullshit, in my opinion. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay, that was just an objective, I think. How do I change my waypoints? That's what I do want to know. Uh, I just want to cycle through waypoints. Um, F7, okay. Oh, doesn't work. Just like half the other controls in this game. Because <laughs> remember when, uh, yeah, F4, F3 don't work. One of the, I know at least one of those is supposed to be a uh, third person view. Cool. It's one of those games. 
And the fact that the armory doesn't heal you too, that's kind of surprising, to be honest. Yeah, there's even a health kit there. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, we'll fill up on ammo, I guess. But we're going to have to respawn pretty soon. That'll be interesting to see, though, is if we respawn with the new loadout that I selected or with the starting loadout. I kind of wonder what this looks like from the Rebel perspective, too, because presumably in multiplayer, this is a, uh, you know, like some sort of objective map, you know, where the Rebels have to defend, the uh, UN Joint Forces have to assault. Wow, that went right by my head. So I'd be curious to see... Now, I think all the operations are going to be playable exclusively from the UN point of view, for better or for worse. Uh, but I'd be curious to see what their starting loadout is. They probably at least get some sort of AK. Okay. So that's that down. All right, so that should clear out a lot of our enemies. Oh, it's 120. I thought it was like 220. I was like, holy shit, but still, that's only half of our enemies. Eh, those logs are rolling, but like at three frames per second. That's kind of funny. And you can actually go on top of them, kind of. Not very well, but... All right, so do I have to destroy all the vehicles, too? Starting to think that I do. Uh, there we go. So I may as well, since I do have infinite ammo. And it is nice that it does let us crawl under here. Slow as it is. But we'll, uh, I think I'll take some eight D4s and knock that out. Unfortunately. Again, because multiplayer, everything's going to have super high health vehicle-wise. So, because you're supposed to work together to take things out, and they don't want just one stray rocket ruining the game for someone. So, that means we got to shoot stuff 50 billion times. Because they give they give the AI all the benefits that the humans have on top of like all their AI cheatiness too, which is really annoying. Okay, thank God that didn't fire. That didn't look quite right. Is, is that the same boat I was shooting at earlier? You know, I don't rightfully know. I see you. Alright, he's down now. God, I really don't want to... Okay, it spawned more enemies in, so we're doing something good. <laughs> Alright. Woo! Alright. Where are these shots coming from? There they are. Okay, I'll get to you in a second. All right. Uh, I think that got him, but... Oh, I suppose only one way to know for sure. All right, no one in here. That's a good sign. Yeah, I definitely got someone with those grenades. Hey, get back here. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. These look kind of weapons cashy, but I don't want to waste weapons on... Oh, 
That's not what I need. Yeah, I suppose at the very least I can destroy that last boat. Hello there. Man, this mission is a lot easier with a really good with a good weapon. I think if I had if I had I would say if I had the M4 from the start, or even any assault rifle, just anything that wasn't the MP5, I probably would have fared a lot better. Having a secondary would have helped too, but you know. Still can't believe they did that. And we're we're not even that much slower for normal encumbrance. I mean we were light before. But that doesn't doesn't do that much. Like obviously if you take like a machine gun and a rocket launcher and grenade launcher and all the grenades and body armor, if you were to do something like that, yeah, it would make a difference. You'd be crawling everywhere. But this not so much. Damn it. Alright. That's fine. Alright. Run around a bit, see who shoots us. Only 40 hostiles left. And I technically still have zero health, remember that. So I probably will eventually die. But... Ah, oh. uh, this layout's a... Uh... A little bit annoying. Oh, there we go. Come on. I am shooting your leg. Die, please. Thank you. All right. Hi. There we go. That would have been annoying to get shot in the back like that. Might still happen if there's more hostiles behind that building. Oh, that made a boom. Alright, hopefully that should flush him out a bit. Still plenty of enemies left. Alright. Okay, you guys... It literally just spawned them there. They were not there when I first peeked around. And then I moved forward, and now they're coming out of everything. I'm gonna... I will call bullshit on that. That was an obvious spawn. Obvious spawn is obvious. Like, maybe if you made a better AI, they could actually pull off a real ambush instead of, haha, we weren't here until we were. That annoys me. Although, at least we did answer the question of which loadout I would uh, get respawned with. And it turns out it's my new one. Hooray! Saves me some time. All right. Let's finish these chuckle fucks off and then figure out where the objectives are. So we should have killed most of the enemies that are capable of spawning by now. God, I, I, I wanted to approach this game. Like, I had hopes for this game. Oh. Okay. I had hopes for this game. I was really hoping it wouldn't be bad, but, uh, it's bad. <laughs> There's just no getting around it. All right, did someone go up here? All right, take care of them. Oh, I see someone down there, I think. Or not. I guess my eyes deceived me. There we go, another armory. Hey, Jeep coming in. Ow. What? I took out the gunner! 
Did he teleport in there? I will call bullshit on that as well. Because I saw him fall out of his seat. Okay, I think I'm going to... Oh, I'll go back and grab Waypoint Alpha. This is bullshit that it resets after you... Uh, after you uh, respawn... All these waypoints reset, which is really infuriating. Now, this is where the light loadout would have been nice, but. Okay, they still have a ship up there. Oh, oh my god, there was an armory there. I could have changed it from the beginning and just gone back anytime I needed ammo. Wouldn't have helped for health, but. Still, that's kind of infuriating that I didn't realize that. Okay, maybe in the future I will be able to do these all in one go, but... Uh, I don't know. Depends on how stupid it is, especially if it's going to spawn them right on top of me. Which is, like, really annoying and a pet peeve of mine. Like, I get they don't want you to, like, outsmart the game, so to speak, and to kill them. Because if they spawn them at game start, you can outsmart them and kill them. And I get that. Oh, didn't it spawn me with more rocket launcher ammo, though? Alright, so I do actually have to go back to camp for that, which is... Oh, well, these are messages. Yeah, I, I need to know where golf and hotel are so I can actually destroy the proper caches. For all I know, the game doesn't even work. Alright, there you are. What? There it is. I thought it was the 8 key. Maybe it was the 7 key. I don't know. I'm recording this kind of late at night, so... <laughs> mental, uh... Mental fitness may not be 100%. Okay. That's one down for the river operations. We'll take one of the ATVs back. I don't see any reason not to. I don't know if the... Sorry, I don't even know if these vehicles respawn. I didn't pay attention to which one I took last time. I don't think so. It's Although, you'd think they would if they blow up after me not using them for, you know, 30 seconds. You'd think the vehicle would respawn then. Thinking with how many vehicles are there, they don't really need to respawn. Like, if we had a full team of even four people, you know, would be able to have plenty of tries for this. Or even something like 12, you know, they would have a medic for sure. Once you get up to that number, they wouldn't need constantly respawning vehicles. All right, let's see where these truckle fucks came in and finished taking them out. I will say props to the Nova Logic team for making the, the jungle feel so immersive with what with the sounds and whatnot. Dolphin Hotel, okay. There we go. Now it worked. Why didn't it work before? Ugh, getting frustrated. Ugh. There we go. Oh, it doesn't count this as an enemy, so I guess I don't have to blow this one up. But wasn't this around the area? I just want to see if I can take... Because I think what happened was someone went on that Jeep. And because they were instant... The Jeep maintained... The M2 on the Jeep maintained its position. They were still just instantly aiming at me. And were able to like just keep firing as if the guy had never died to begin with. Which is... uh. Certainly a very multiplayer-like thing, I guess, but really annoying when you're doing this solo. But then again, I don't think you are supposed to be doing this solo. I think this was something they added because people are like, hey, this is supposed to be Delta Force. Where's the single player? So they're like, fine, I guess we'll just make a remake the map with AI spawns. And <laughs> well, we see how that's going so far. All right. I don't think there's another control point either. There's no... Yeah, I don't see another control point. So it's not like we can grab a, 
Oh. Oh, you're gonna do this to me, aren't you? Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can find a better place to climb up. There we go. There we go. Dolphin Hotel. Okay, so... This, there's supposed to be weapons caches here. I might have done, or, oh no, golf is over that way. I thought it said golf was here. Maybe it was like a subway point. <laughs> All right, so golf is in this building. Which I think means, oh, it looks like I got all the Evans caches here. I mean, there's lumber here, but that's about all that's left. No, oh, there's these boxes. All right. There we go. Okay, that's golf and hotel right there. Ah, you piece of shit. Okay, yeah, seven is the AT4. There we go. There's their gunboat down. So now we can... Oh. I re... I was really hoping the game would be better than this. It's not. I wish it was. Uh, destroy the weapons cache in the second lumber mill at Target Juliet. Okay, so we just got to pass Indigo to get to Juliet. And th those were probably the boxes that were under the stairs in that one building. Get out of here. Don't need your bullshit. Uh, 97 to 120, so 23 enemies remain. How many will spawn? We don't know. Yeah, I have a feeling these are supposed to be part of the package, too. I feel like OSHA wouldn't approve of this lumber mill. The fact that the only way to get to some place is through the lumber mill seems, uh... I guess it's not the only way, but... There we go. Weapons. Oh, yeah, because they have the all these... Pa okay, there is a path out through the pallets. They just require some lateral thinking a little bit. All right, now I should be able to... Clear these houses out. Reload. And then we just got to destroy the gasoline barges. All right. Actually, you know what? Uh, for this one, give me satchel charge. There we go. Because I imagine these are going to be immune to just about everything else. Up oh, there's two across the river, so. I will say, it, this probably would be interesting in multiplayer, or at least in co-op, but in single player, this is uh, underwhelming. I had enough of a uh, lone man going in doing everything himself in the early Delta Force games. And I guess they kind of repeated themselves a fair amount in the newer ones, even. Yeah, I'm not. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> that is my other big... That's probably my biggest gripe, honestly, with these games, so... Is, at least with the newer ones, is just how... When you reload, you are stuck reloading. You can't cancel. It's not like a modern game where you can cancel your reload and switch to your secondary. 
Which I think some of that is faster to switch to your secondary than to reload is just video game stuff. But here, I can't switch at all. Alright, there we go. Oh, we did it. Oh, 404, objectives 101, enemy targets destroyed. No friendlies or non combatants lost. Alright. And unfortunately, nothing to go with that debriefing. All right, I do want to check. If I go to LAN and host. Oh, yeah, these are all cooperative missions. Oh, <laughs> okay. They let you play it in single player, so that way they can be, look, we had in single player, but they are not meant for single player. I bet if I went into it through here, through the hosting method, uh, it would be exactly the same as, uh, <laughs> as what we just went through, uh, except people can't join me, so, but, but yeah, that's, uh, that's Join Ops Combined Arms right there, so we'll be back next week to see what they, uh, <laughs> throw at us and what we can do, uh, in our one-man assault against half of Indonesia, apparently. Uh, but until then, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.